Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B 2020 number three. We have the integral from e to e to the e of ln x, ln of ln x over x dx. Okay, one of the first things to look for when you've got ln x in the integral, and we've got it in multiple places, is the derivative is just one over x. So I'm gonna go right to the u substitution on this for ln x. So we go ahead and we take the derivative and we just get one over x dx, which we have right here, if we kind of create a little one right there. So we'll go ahead and substitute, updating the bounds, but all this e to the e stuff, it's gonna work nice with ln x. So you plug in e to the e here and we get natural log e to the e log properties. We can bring that out front and we get e ln e, but this thing's just one, so the upper bound becomes e. We plug the e in, well, that's this thing all over again. Natural log e is just gonna be one. Updating the integral, what we're going to get is u, ln u for the numerator, and then everything else is just du. And now for this thing here, I guess I have two ways. We could do it with another substitution if you don't like, because natural log is a little bit awkward to deal with. I think we'll go without it though, and we'll just do integration by parts on it. So let's see how this is going to go. We'll do the di method over here. And what I'll do, you know, we don't really know how to integrate ln u without integration by parts. So we'll differentiate ln u and we'll integrate u. So then go ahead and differentiate here. We get just one over u. Integrate here, we get u squared over two. So part of the solution is gonna be on the diagonal. We'll write it as u squared ln u over two from one to e. And then here we got an integral, but let's see, we'll bring like minus a half out front of this integral. And then u squared over u, it's gonna cancel and just give us a u du, and sorry, this is from one to e. So we'll evaluate this first. We're gonna get, plugging in, we're gonna get e squared. Ln e is just one over two for the first part. Second part, plug in a one. We've got one squared, but ln one, that's just zero. This doesn't matter, so this piece goes away. And then for this integral, we'll just go ahead because it's just gonna be power rule. Integrate this, we get u squared over two from one to e. Now this first part, we're gonna have e squared over two. Here I can factor a minus one fourth out. Plug in the e first, we're gonna have e squared over two. In the second part, just minus one half. Putting this together, let's see what happens. We get e squared over two minus e squared over eight. Distribute in minus one fourth to minus a half and we get plus one eighth. And what I'm noticing is I definitely made a mistake somewhere. Where did I go wrong? Um, and at this point, what I noticed is I definitely messed up somewhere because the answer does not have eight in the denominator. Um, let me go back here. So this looks good, right? This looks fine. Here we plugged in E, we got E squared times one over two minus one squared over zero. Yep, that goes away. You're getting some real-time error checking here. This is behind the scenes footage that you don't usually get on YouTube. So then here, let's see, we get u squared over two, evaluated from one to e, uh, minus a fourth. Oh, okay, sorry. Th so this, this half went here with the one fourth and we don't actually have this piece right here. So this is just minus one fourth and then we're just looking at u squared here. So you plug this into u squared, you get e squared minus one squared, which is just one. Let's forget all this stuff that we did here and rewrite this. So now we have e squared over two minus distributing in this, we're gonna have e squared over four minus a fourth times minus one is plus a fourth. Well, I can get a common denominator over here and write this as two over four. Putting this together with a common denominator for my final solution, we get just e squared plus one over four and that's it. Wow. Okay, so close call. I almost completely botched this whole video, but I think I pulled it out. So I guess if I didn't pull it out, then you won't see this on YouTube. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.